Okay, people. Here's how we uh, here's how we make music using the uh, the Mad Player. We just kind of move around through these styles until we find a, sty a style that we like. UK garage, garage, hard house, easy house, house. I kind of like trance, so I'm going for trance. I press play. It starts composing a piece for me. Now, where is that piece? Oh, I turned off the music. There we go. All right. Start it over again. I don't like that one. I'm going to do another one. Pretty good. It's not getting started very fast. Okay, I kind of like it, so I'm going to press save. And now it's saved as Trance002, and it's as though I wrote it. Now, if I want to modify it, I can pop over here to the drum track, dive into that drum track. Now it's going to stop changing. I'm going to recompose the drum track. Just pick another drum. Or I can uh, I can also uh, change, you know, pick a, uh, a different bass drum. New, dr new drum. So I can go back to the previous one. Here's a new bass line. That sucks. New one. Okay, now we're back into the whole thing. I don't like that tune. I'm going to write a new one. Oh, wait, look, it's filtering it automatically. That's cool. Oh, this is definitely cool. Save. And that's how we write music now. One button press and I'm done. And it takes the whole thing through the structure of a song. Uh, there are a lot more things you can do with this box, except uh, obtain one from a store. That's one thing you can't do with this box anymore. All right, enjoy.